All right, then temporarily we'll leave all the concussion talk behind us because uh, both teams have to deal with a few other headaches going into the second T20 yeah, that will be played in Sydney. And one of them is going to be the change of venue, a venue where we saw plenty of runs being scored in the first two ODI that were played between these two teams. You're watching ESPN Cricket for Match Day. I'm Nikhil Nas, and I'll be joined by Tom Moody and Deep Das Gupta. <laughs> Right then, before I dive into the discussion, a quick reminder that ESPN Crick Info is already your go-to source for all the analysis and text commentary. But now you can watch video clips too, all the highlights from the matches being played between India and Australia, but only if you're watching from the Indian subcontinent. So that offer is on for deep. Unfortunately, Tom, you can't make use of that sitting there in Perth, but we'll dive into the show now. And the first statement uh, we've got ahead of that uh, second T20I is Rahul and Bumrah should play the red ball warm-up game. All right, then, uh, Deep, I'll start with you on this one. Should Rahul and Bumrah play the red ball warm-up game? I'd say Bumrah, yes. Kale, no. Uh, because I don't see uh, Kale playing the first test match. Uh, and also, I mean, you've got to keep in mind your one one zip up in the series. You need to win the series. Uh, and Kale been in brilliant T20 form or white cricket form for that matter. So I'd keep Kale for sure. And uh, Bumrah, yes, I'll, 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 I ideally would want him to play the uh, the side game. Hmm. Uh, Tom, to you, there's also Shami there, who's part of both the Scots. What would you do with the bowling lineup in particular, as Deep points out? Because knowing a lot of Indian fans, they'd like to say that the T20S series hasn't been decided as yet. Yeah, look, it's a, it's an important uh, balance to try to, to to meet. Is one prepare your players for a Test series that's coming up, but uh, equally as important is to try to try to win the T20 series, which they've got a one. And Neil lead. Uh, personally, I'd agree with Deep. I, I would be playing Boomerah in the longer form. And the reason for that is he needs the overs under his belt. You know, he's been playing a lot of short form cricket. Test cricket's a different story when you're having to back up three main spells, four main spells in a day. So therefore bowling 20 overs in a day against four in a T20 game or just 10 in a in a 50 over game. So I think that uh, he could do with the miles on the clock, so to speak. Kale Rahul, I, I think it's easier for a batsman to adapt from a shorter form into test cricket. So I think if he can continue his good form in the T20 series, it will uh, bode well for his test series. I mean, while remember Nathan Lyon has replaced Cameron Green in Australia's T20 has scored for the last two Sydney games. So Tom, to you on this one, Australia should continue to play both leg spinners, you reckon? Personally, I, I would go with it purely because I think it's unfair on uh, on Swepson just to play the one game. You know, if they're picking Swepson, uh, they need to have a good look at him and expose him to, I think, all three games, ideally. Um, I, so, so, yes, look, he didn't bowl his best. He's put his hand up and admitted that uh, that, that it wasn't his best performance. So I'd be encouraged to, to continue playing him. Uh, and Zampa, you know, I think is an important part of that team that needs to continue to play. Nathan Lyon's a good option, but I think once you press the button and, and play the young leg spinner, you've got to back him and play him for a couple of games. Nathan Lyon does make a case for himself because we're taking a look at his T20 record at the SCG. Remember, he plays for the Sydney Sixers in the BBL and he's got uh, decent numbers there, an economy of 7.23, but an average of 20. He's picked up 19 wickets in the 15 games he's played there. Deep to you, what would you do? Stick with the two leg spinners or then draft Nathan Lyon in knowing his local knowledge? Here? Ideally speaking, after one game, I won't change anything unless it's a forced change. Unless it's forced, I will, uh, personally speaking, would want to continue with the same team because it's just unfair. After one game and that to this format in T20 where, you know, on your best days, you can go for a few runs as a bowler. Uh, and as a batsman, you might not score any runs, uh, even though you're in form or whatever. So I've, one game is too early. So yeah, unless it's forced, won't change anything. Mm, okay. From Australian spinners, we're turning our attention now to the Indian spinners. And the third statement that we've got for you is Chahel and Sundar should both start for India. Now, for those of you who don't know that Ravinder Jadeja has been ruled out of the remainder of the T20I series and Shardul Thakur has replaced Jadeja in the Indian squad. Deep, I'll start with you on this one. Would you? Because, you know, what that does do with the Indian team is leave them a batsman shot if you play both Sundar as well as Chahel. Yeah, and, and especially, I mean, 
that's what Jadeja brings to the table as well, isn't it, as an all-rounder. So now, in the absence of Jadeja, uh, we'll all, also have to ask whether Hardik can put in a couple of overs or not. Uh, like he did in, in the ODIs, bowl three overs. If he can bowl a couple of overs, that might make life a little easy. Uh, and also maybe show a little more faith in Washington's batting. Uh, he can bat all right. Uh, uh, I mean, he's, he's done all right. Uh, but, you know, the good part is that you've got Shardul as well there. And mm-hmm. Shardul can, again, be a decent bat. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, obviously that puts you in a spot. Uh, Jadeja not being available. But again, you've got to have your five bowlers. Proper five bowlers is what I say. No, I'd personally just stick with uh, Chahal just as a, a simple swap for Jadeja, mm-hmm. given his injury. Um, and yes, it, it, it potentially leaves you a, a batter light, but we've also been talking about the capabilities of, of Washington Sunda with the bat. So to me, this creates just an uh, opportunity and, and quite often players welcome these little breaks uh, that are unfortunate for others with regards to injury, but it opens the door for them to get a chance further up the order. So to me, it opens that uh, chance for him to, to come in at number seven and see what he's capable of doing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, that's exactly right. You know, uh, five bowlers, Washington Sundar, who opens, mind you, he opens for Tamil Nadu, right, uh, in, in the limited format. So maybe it's it's a good opportunity for him to show what he can do with the bat. All right. Uh, Australia also need to solve their death bowling issues. Stark is a proven death bowler, so I don't have an issue with that. And when Pat Cummins is playing in this side, he would also fill in that death role. So Australia have had their issues with their death overs. Uh, so far in the ODI series and, and in this first T20 match. But to me, you you need to persevere with the people that you've given that responsibility and, and who have been selected for that reason to be able to bowl during those phases of the game. Deep? Uh, well, yeah, but my question would be whether Hazelwood plays or not or would he be kind of rested? Uh, and I would I actually would like to ask Tom about it. What, what does he think? Mm-hmm. Can someone like Andrew Ty come in place of Hazelwood? I'm not saying dropping him, just resting him before the Test Series because obviously four Test matches. That, that, that makes absolute perfect sense, Deep. If, if, if they're selecting uh, Andrew Ty on the back of resting Hazelwood, which is a smart move given that he's played all the games so far in preparation for the Test Series, that makes sense. Um, and that would help solve... Uh, the puzzle, you know, between uh, between the Australian attack to who's going to be able to sort out those last four overs. So I, I don't mind that as an option. Uh, a lot of that discussion will be down to how Hazelwood feels and, and, and how his rhythm is. But uh, to me, that would be a smart move. Right. That's that then, uh, building up to that second T20i between India and Australia. Here's another reminder that you can watch all the highlights and the video clips of the series between India and Australia on ESPN Cricket. For you are watching ESPN Cricket for Match Day.